So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts, and we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give. Hello, my fellow Latter-day Saints. Kenzie Retro, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia. Back with some more reactions, and today it is the latest episode of The Walking Dead. This is gonna be interesting. There we go. The Lost and the Plunderers. Groups unite their forces to converge on the hilltop. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away, Aaron and Enid search for allies, and Simon takes matters into his own hands. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's see what happens. Whatever these are. I mean, I mean, just as well I got this on DB, just as well I've got my Sky Plus box and I got this on DVR. Translating that into English, that is a uh, digital, digital viewing recording. Digitally viewed recording, that's what it is. Digitally viewed recording, that's what I meant. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, if I am wrong, I am probably going to end up getting a frying pan into the face. Just like that. <laughs> There's Rick. Oh, the Rick grave, of course. Even though, we knew, even though I knew it was coming, I still wasn't emotionally prepared for what was going to happen in the last episode. Before this one. Use the gun at the grave. We're showing dealing with the walkers. I can Rick not get a break? Seriously. I mean, that, I mean, if that if that's not the look of a distraught father, I don't know what is. He decides to take the gun anyway. Well, of course, because it's got because it's got a silencer on it, which would which will work against the walkers if you want to deliver a headshot. But got to be sure to conserve ammo, which is why Michonne and her sword works a lot better. And goodness me, the state of Alexandria! That's nasty. That's nasty. Music really complements the mood of the uh, the scene as well. I'll give it that. <sighs> He's just found a radio. Forgot to mention at the start, guys. Spoiler the spoiler alerts will be in this video if you haven't seen the episode yet. I mean, yes, it has been out for a few days, but there'll be some people that still haven't caught up with it yet. Because I've got a couple of friends that like The Walking Dead and they haven't caught up with it yet, so that's why I'm that's why I've got that spoiler alert in place. I'll have a title card that says spoiler alerts at the start of the video as well. Just just playing safe so I've got all bases covered in case I end up getting a lot of hate mail in the comments. Which would be hardly surprising. Anyway. Hey, I'm gonna say, riding the fields away, damn it! Riding the fields already, damn it, come on! It's Carl and Judith's handprint. Oh, handprints. Come on, guys, come on! Oh, 
and he was oh they were like cooking something as well but good call I mean what else can they do what else can they do realistically They have to. They said you, you. You said it yourself. You said you have to go. Why have you got fire extinguishers? I doubt it's going to be much use to anyone. You never know. You never know. Oh, good grief! Ooh. This is not good. Forget the fire! Forget the fire, guys! Just get the heck out of there! Just go! Just get out of there, guys! Come on! Forget the fire! Just go! <sighs> the fire could have been useful to burn the walkers. I mean, what's so important about that? What's so what's so important about that building anyway? Oh, good grief! They just tore down the entire, just tore down an entire wall or gate. Alexandria's gone. You have to accept Alexandria's gone. Where do they go from here? I sure as hell wouldn't surrender to Negan. What? You serious, Michelle? Are you serious? Why? That explains why Carl, why, why, maybe that explains why Rick's dream at the end of the last episode showed Negan in it. Maybe that explains it. Maybe that explains why Negan was in Rick's dream at the end of the last episode. Back at the junkyard. Dang it! <sighs> Why would they be? Oh, gee! Asked their exit gone. Oh, come on! Have they not had enough walkers to deal with already? And we're only like 10 minutes. We're only like. We're like. We're like 10 minutes into the episode. And already they have walkers to deal with. You gotta be kidding me! Now I've seen, ver I've seen various reactions of them um, walking dead. And they've actually. I've had fellow reactors compare Simon 
to Trevor Phillips from GTA 5. What on no. earth is in that box? I mean, this has got, it's got holes in it, so there's obviously something inside, or someone. Who on earth could it be? We have 38 more stand down. Weapons? For weapons? Could it possibly? That's what I'm thinking. The only thing I can think of is weapons. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! That means the other 38 that the Hilltopper holding are from the satellite outpost. Those are my people. I'm gonna kill every last one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Snap! Coming, guys. I certainly didn't. <laughs> Enid. Oh, Carl's girlfriend. I mean, Enid doesn't even know yet. Even does Enid doesn't know Carl's gone. What's going? Handcuffed. Why? What's going on? You are kidding me. They're not going to do what I think they're going to do, are they? They're not going to do what I think they're going to do, are they? What the heck? How? You're handcuffed to what appears to be a blue air duct or air vent or whatever. What? Dang! There he goes. You have gone done screwed up big time. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is not gonna end well. Oh boy. Simon, you evil maniac! I think on a plus note, he did what Negan asked him to do. Still, what the heck? Weapons. That's a lot of weapons. This is not gonna end well. Why? After everything you've done to them? I'd say this is justice. I'd say this is payback and justice. What on earth? That's a lot of walkers! That's a lot of walkers! How on earth is she gonna take down a lot of them?
Or is she accepting her fate? I'm thinking she... Nah! She's not gonna electrocute the lot of them, is she? She is! No way! Oh my word! Jadis, you genius! She just set up a bullet meat grinder! Graphic, but brilliant! Ugh, I would not want to be eating any of that! I mean, you can see the... Oh, good grief, you can see the emotion on her face! Despair. Because those are the people that... That were working with her. How long do you reckon it's going to take for it to clog up? She's now going to be stuck with that for the rest of her life. And is that, is that the mall? Is that the mall? I think it is. Oof. Not pleasant by any stretch of the imagination. Not pleasant. My shield just looks really worn out, exhausted, tired, whatever, however else you can describe it. She just took out an, she just took out a swarm of walkers with that one machine. I think of one or two people from this show that would be very handy in there. No way is that emergency supplies. If that's emergency supplies... Apple source, shelf stable, times 20. I mean, of course you had plans for him, Negan. You wanted him to turn against his own father for crying out loud. You wanted, you wanted Carl to turn against his own damn father. Big mistake, Negan. Big mistake. You do not. Say anything against his own family, dead or alive. Gee, you think, Negan? You think? Trust me, Negan, he's gonna do whatever it takes.
boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Negan just made things personal. Negan just made things personal. Oh boy! That's definitely gonna have me tuning in next week. Anyway, yeah. Uh pretty much does it for today folks hope you enjoyed my reactions to the latest episode of the walking dead if you did hit the thumbs up and if you want to continue following what i do on my channel hit the subscribe button down at the bottom click the bell to join the notification squad so you don't miss anything i do on my channel instead of my usual left and right scenario i've got up here my previous uh, video which is basically my cuphead playthrough yesterday and down here is going to be uh my reactions uh no it'll be my walking dead playlist of my walking dead reactions so anyway i'll see you guys again very soon have a fantastic day peace out stay faithful